Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna go over another unit of concentration of solution which is known as molarity. So molarity of a solution is defined as the number of moles of the solute dissolved per liter of solution or mathematically it can be written as molarity equal to moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liters and the unit of molarity is equal to moles per liter or can be written as a capital M. If the volume is given in milliliter then the molarity is equal to moles of solute divided by volume in milliliter in this case we're going to multiply it by 1000 or we can say milliliter per liter and that will give us the unit of molarity again in moles per liter the molarity of a solution depends on temperature because the volume depends on temperature volume is directly proportional to the temperature so if temperature increases it's gonna increase the volume if it decreases it's gonna decrease the volume so that means if there is a change in temperature that will change the molarity of the solution so when we are doing a calculation we're gonna go over a couple examples over here so when we are solving some problems, sometime instead of moles of a solute, they give us the mass of a solute. So in that situation, we have to change mass of a solute into the moles of a solute. And the formula is moles of solute is equal to mass of solute divided by molar mass of solute let's let's go over a couple examples to understand it so in first example we have here is what will be the molarity of a solution containing 5 gram of sodium hydroxide in 250 milliliter of solution? So first of all, it gave us the mass, didn't give us the moles of the solute. So that means we need to convert the mass of a solute to the moles of a solute. So the formula was, again, moles of solute. is equal to mass of solute divided by the molar mass of solute so in this case mass is 5 gram and the molar mass of sodium hydroxide is 40 so we're going to divide it by 40 so that will give us moles of solute 5 over 40 and we are going to calculate the molarity so molarity is equal to moles of solute which is 5 over 40 multiply by or divide it by the volume of the solution or we can say 1 over the volume of solution here is 250 milliliter as it is in milliliter we're going to multiply it by 1000 we can say milliliter per liter here and when we solve it this gives us um, 0 0.5 moles 
per liter or just we can say the unit capital M. You can solve it here 254 and 4 tens. 10 is 40 and 5 times 2 is 10. So this is equal to 1 over 2, which is 1 half 0 0.5. So answer is 0 0.5 moles per liter. Let's do another example. So we have 18 gram of glucose in 500 milliliter of solution. We're going to find the molarity of the solution. So again, um, they gave us the mass. They didn't give us the moles of the solute. So first of, first of all, we're going to find moles of glucose, which is equal to mass of a solute, which is 18 grams solute is glucose over here and divided by molar mass of the solute in case it's glucose and the molar mass of glucose is 180. So this is our moles of glucose. And now let's calculate the molarity. And molarity is equal to moles of a solute which is 18 over 180 and divide it by volume of a solution which is 500 milliliter 500 milliliter as it is in milliliter we're going to multiply it by 1000 milliliter per liter and when we solve it it gives us 0 0.2 moles per liter or just capital M as the unit. You can solve it here. And 2 goes by 5 gives you 10. So this gives me basically 1 over 5 and moles per liter and when we solve it, it gives us 0 0.2 moles per liter so that was molarity another unit of concentration of solution please practice more example then you will be good to go thank you for watching the video guys please do share like and subscribe my channel